Um, this is from Cocodrin Sri Lanka. Uh, so now you can see the blades that we can use for our chips machine. Uh, this is the blade you can see here. This is the blade we are going to use for our coconut husk chips making machine. So in this video, we are going to see how we sharp this blade using emery stone, which is called blades sharpening stone. Before, before starting sharpening this blade, I will discuss about the sharpening stone. Here you can see the sharpening stone, right? Here, uh, normally we call it as emery stone or knife or sharp blade sharpening stone. So uh, I will I will unbox this stone and after that you can see the stone like this. In this stone there are two types. First is fine stone that means the that means the, the stone is not very rough and other one is a rough stone. And uh, we mainly use this rough stone to sharp this blade, right? Okay, um, so this stone wall side is rough stone, right? Okay, okay. Um, after choosing a good emery stone, then after you have to uh, insert some coconut oil on this stone. To do that, you can use here you can use uh, coconut oil like this. So you can put coconut oil onto the stone like this. So after that, you, you have to wait about five minutes to absorb this coconut oil for the blade, for the stone, like this. Like this, we have to do it continuously. So you can't sharp this blade using only this stone, uh, but you have to make a tool like this. Just you can use a part of wood or something you can uh, use to hold this stone like this. It will, it will easier for you to sharp the blade like this. Like this, uh, you can hold this stone in this tool like this in your blades so you can see there are two sides so first side is with this side is very slope this one is uh, cutting edge cutting edge is very slope and other side is very flat this is not there there is no any slope side for on this side only you can have slope side so every time you have to you have to sharp this sharp side every time but we will sharp this side this flat side very 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 small time i will i will let you know when i am sharpening this blade okay so uh, so you can see here this this cutting edge you can see and you we have already applied heat treatment for this blade that means uh, there are some process normalization, analyzation, annealing, on uh, uh, tempering, hardening, and so on. So uh, you can see here about one inch, about one inch. You can use this blade to cut your coconut husk. Uh, so uh, when you are cutting husk, this will this edge, this cutting edge, edge will reduce the sharpness of cutting edge will reduce when when reducing the cutting edge the sharpness you have to sharp this blade using this stone now we will sharp this blade using this stone now you have to hold hold this blade on your hand use your two hands like this your two hand like this so when you are when you are sharpening this blade you have to you have to face this cutting edge to your side right to your side you have to face this cutting edge so every time you you must sharp 
this swap side that's why that's why i will i will i will hold the blade like this on my hand on my two hands so this is the slope side and that i will hold like this on my hand so after that uh, the oil has been already absorbed to this stone that's why i am put in some coconut oil again on this stone you have to do this continuously okay so now this slope side i am going to sharp like this when when you are sharpening like this you have to always slip slip this blade like this but uh, you 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 should not this pull backward you have to always should pull this side this forward side but don't don't pull this backward side like this don't do it so always we have to do like this like this when when you are when you are uh, sharpening so you have to make a right angle make a, make a right angle when you are when you are applying onto the stone so don't don't use like that don't like you know, this uh, too much angle so just use this angle this angle and after that you can do it from here to here right you that you should do that from here to here like this you can do it continuously normally you should do it about 3 minute you can do this uh like this about 2 minute or 3 minute it will take okay um so like this you have to do this process continuously about 3 minute like this so you should sharp this blade from this side to this side and always you should do it like this when when you are when you are sharpening this blade you have to apply more load on this stone otherwise the blade will not sharp properly that's why you have to apply a load by your hand on on the stone like this you have to do this continuously about 3 minute after that uh, you will uh get some cutting edge uh, which is just like a knife um so after that you will you should you should sharp this side i mean flat side you have to after that sharp flat side to do that you have to you have to uh rotate the blade and keep the flat side on on the stone okay to do that rotate the blade and keep the flat side onto the stone so when when you are sharpening flat side so you should not use any angle for this process so you should which means uh, it should be about 3 uh, 3 0 2 angle that's enough but don't use many angle to do that you should uh, you should you should use parallel to the blade or stone like this but you should not use uh, these blades to sharp on this side many time uh, it will take about uh, 30 second that's enough so after that you will receive a good Uh, a good cutting edge so that after that you can cut about uh, more than uh, 3000 husk uh, that's enough so after 3000 cutting husk you should you do this process continuously so that's why you should use emery stone and this process uh, very accurately 
So when you are using this process accurately from the A to the Z, then you can you can get as an output good output cocoa chips. So um, so please remember, please remember you should not use any cutting. Uh, I mean uh, any grinder, any grinder for this process because. Uh, when you are using the grinder, it generates the heat. We have already applied a heat on this blade. So if when you are using the grinder, then it will generate a heat. When you are generating the heat, the sharpness of this blade will reduce. So after that, you can't use this blade to our machine. So when you are using grinder to do this process, the quality of coconut husk keeps will reduce. That, that will absolutely reduce. That's why we are highly recommend you to go with this process because this process for this process uh, you don't need many time because uh, so for this uh, process it will take about uh, five minutes only five minute process. So. Please remember it, don't use any grinder tool. So if you have any problem in this, uh, in this blade sharpening, so just contact me or contact us through our WhatsApp. Uh, in this video, there are shows WhatsApp number, so you can contact us anytime. Okay, thank you.